38 to fucking 3. We are so fucking shit right now. I don't usually do Patriots game, you know, reviews. Or, and this really isn't even a game review because I, I didn't even want to watch it. Because younger sibling had the TV and, and all that. But 38 to 3. Mac Jones, two interceptions, gives up a pick six, gives up a fumble six. Fumble for a touchdown. Doesn't roll off the tongue the same way pick six does, but whatever. Um, This team's garbage, man. This team is fucking garbage. And it sucks. Because we've been mid for the last three years after Brady left. We had the playoff appearance in 2021, somehow. And I thought things would be good with Mac. But I don't know if this is more so because we still needed a veteran to start over Mac so that Mac could sit and learn more. Or just the fact of that Mac is not fucking good. And that whatever promise he showed in his rookie year is gone after last year and gone after these first four weeks. Because Jesus fucking Christ, man. Judon gets hurt. Gonzalez gets hurt. I think somebody else from the secondary got hurt. God. And you know, the funniest thing is that Nobody's going to feel pity for us, and nobody should, because the Patriots have put a, a, the Patriots have held their boot on the necks of every other NFL team in this fucking league for the last 20-something years with Brady here, so everybody's going to relish in this shit, and rightfully so, you deserve to, but as a Patriots fan, I know what's coming, and kind of why I'm glad I don't live in Massachusetts and I don't listen to sports talk radio you know in that regard because all I'd probably be hearing is media and fans talking loads of shit but not in the right way like what I fear is that Patriots fans are going to become more and more arrogant and entitled than we might probably already are uh, that we may already be because of all the success we've had. Yes, the Celtics are still really good. They they just they just got fucking Drew Holiday after the whole Damian Lillard trade a couple days ago. They you know all that shenanigans. The Bruins are the Bruins and they should still be good. And Boston, well, does in the Red Sox, well they're they're frustrating right now and they just ended their season. So also by the way R.I.P. Tim Wakefield. Fuck Kurt Schilling. But the Patriots are the team that everybody looked to in this area because they were the best of the four. since Pretty much since the year 2000. The Patriots have won the most titles since then, have made the playoffs the most times since then, at least I'm pretty sure. Um, I had Tom Brady for crying out loud. And now here we are. And the thing is, is that before our bye in week 11, we had games against teams like the Raiders, the Saints, the Commanders, the Colts. There are some teams that we could have a decent record, maybe a 500 record by the time we get to the bye week. Do I think we will? I have no fucking idea. And then that post bye week schedule, man, it's brutal as hell. I don't know where this team goes from here. I know it's early. I understand that. But if anybody thinks we're going to salvage the season enough to make a playoff spot, you're fucking crazy. I don't even think we're going to finish five hundred near 500. I know you can't finish 500 anymore unless you tie, but even still. We suck. And we're going to suck for a long time. So I hope Patriots fans are prepared for that. I've been trying to be as realistic as possible the last several years. Or I should say the last few. And I'm going to continue to be. I said it in preseason. 6-11. and 11, That's the floor. If not lower. I don't know if we're going to reach 6 wins by, by the fucking bye week. Because after the bye, 
we are so fucking screwed. So, good night.